Hello everyone, welcome to the OSCE class. My name is Soraya, and I am an OSCE facilitator. Today you are going to learn a NMC skill station of physiological observation with me. Physiological observation is a 10-minute OSCE skill station in which you are required to take observations, record the findings appropriately, and verbalize the intervention. You will see step-by-step -step guidance, including verbalization, completing the observation chart, and calculating the NEWS2 score according to the marking criteria set by NMC. Before starting, verbalize that you will ensure the environment is safe and ensure provide privacy by closing the door or drawing the curtain. Then verbalize you will clean the hands using alcohol hand rub according to the WHO guidelines and clean your hands. Introduce yourself and gain consent by verbalizing your name and asking patient if they are happy for you to proceed. Then ask patient name and date of birth and verify information with the patient's ID band. You can also ask for allergy if patient is not wearing red band. Now you should inform a patient that you are going to take blood pressure and verbalize, which arm they prefer to use. On confirming, verbalize, if they have any surgery, implant, or pain in that arm. If no issue then you can proceed. While taking blood pressure, you can measure oxygen saturation using pulse oximeter on the other hand. Before checking saturation, make sure check capillary refill by gently pressing the fingernails and also check for varnish on nails. Remember, document the reading on the observation chart immediately. Do not turn off the blood pressure machine without writing the readings. Then check the temperature and also document it immediately. Now you are required to take a pulse for two minutes manually. One minute will be for the pulse and one minute for respiration. You can use stopwatch to take the pulse. Verbalize that you are going to take a pulse for two minutes and ask patient not to talk when you are taking a pulse. After taking a pulse, inform the patient that while you were taking a pulse, you also checked the respiration but did not tell as it might affect the reading. You can see the scenario on the screen. Which states that Betty John admitted in your ward, and she told you that she feels unwell. Complete physiological observations using News 2 documentation. All the equipment you need is provided. Please complete the physiological observations and clearly document the findings. You have 10 minutes to complete this station. Assume it is today and it is 11 o'clock. Let's see how to document the observation on the chart and calculate the NEWS2 score. Please see the observation chart on the screen. The first column will be pre-filled with the patient details, but if not, you are also required to complete this section as well. Full name, Betty John, date of birth is the 1st of January 1984. The date of admission is today which will be your exam date. I have recorded the 11th of June 2023. In the second column, you need to put the date, which will be your exam date, example, 1106. Make sure you record the day and month and fit in the column. Then enter the time which will be on your scenario, example, 11 o'clock. Now enter the respiration that you counted for a full minute. You counted 20, so we will put the number 20 in the correct column. I have completed all the next columns with bullet point as well, either you could write a number or enter bullet points, both should be okay. The next column is for saturation. Make sure to use the correct column of scale 1 and record saturation 98. Do not use the second column of scale 2. Scale 2 only be used if patients are with chronic respiratory conditions and doctor decision is to put patient on scale 2. I have put a cross so that you understand, it should not be used. For your exam, you should only use scale 1. In the next column, you will write a for air, that means your patient is breathing on air, unless patient is on oxygen, that will be according to the scenario. Record blood pressure in the correct column. If systolic blood pressure is 105, you will write in the correct column next to the range of 101 to 110, then write diastolic blood pressure 76 in the column next to a range, from 71 to 80. 
or you can enter upward arrow for systolic blood pressure and downward arrow for diastolic blood pressure and connect with dotted lines, it is already completed in the next column. Remember, diastolic blood pressure will not be counted in the new score, so do not get confused and not include it while calculating the new score. Diastolic blood pressure should be recorded appropriately, but will not be used to count new score. You will only use systolic blood pressure to count new score. Now record pulse in the correct column. If the pulse is 76, you will write next to the column where the range shows 71 to 80. Next column is for consciousness. You could ask the patient one or two questions to see if the patient is alert. You can ask the patient about today's date or day or where they are currently. On confirming, put bullet point in front of the alert box. Then record the temperature, which was 35, in the correct column that shows range equal or less than 35. Now calculate the new score and complete the remaining columns. Let's check what the new score is. You should start counting systematically to avoid mistakes. So start from the first column of respirations, you can see respiration is 20, and the new score is 0, if the row is white, it reflects the new score of 0. For saturation, score is 0. And the patient is breathing in air, the score is 0. Systolic blood pressure is 105, and you can see it is in the yellow line, and the score is 1, so the new score is 1, do not count the score for diastolic blood pressure. Next, for pulse, score is also zero. For consciousness, score is zero. You can see that score for temperature is three. That means score of three in single parameter. It gives a total news score of four that you should record in front of news total. Remember, you must record total news score in front of column of news total. Now we will find out the monitoring frequency and intervention for total news score of 4 or 3 in single parameter and whether it need escalation. You can see the back of the chart that shows a clinical response to the news trigger threshold that you can see on the screen. Look at here that frequency of monitoring is 1 hourly if the score is 3 in single parameter. Now you will verbalize that the patient total news score is 4, but 3 in single parameter and the frequency to check observation is one hourly. You will inform the registered nurse to inform the medical team caring for the patient, who will review and decide whether escalation of care is necessary. You should record monitoring frequency on the chart correctly. Therefore record 1H in front of monitoring frequency. Now, enter Y for yes that escalation of care needed. Remember you will only put N for no if new score is 0. For all other scores you should put Y for yes that escalation is needed. Remember to enter your initials in the last column. We have completed all the steps, including documentation and verbalization of the interventions. Now, verbalize that you will dispose of the equipment appropriately. Wash hands using an alcohol rub according to the WHO guidelines. Make sure complete all the documentation correctly, and sign appropriately. Remember, this is not original patient, and it is only created for training purpose.